Attention please. This upload is only for educational purpose. No intention to infringe copyrights. Learning English with subtitles GPTRIL. GPTRIL. Definitely a must see. Follow us. Andy. Listen, Janet. Look, I've heard that listen, Janet line before, Randy, and I know where it leads, so I'm just gonna go now, all right? I think burying my dog is far more important than you being unfaithful to Johnny, Janet. She's right. Come on, Louise, let's take care of this first. Is that everything? Yeah, well, that's the stuff from my mum's. I've still got my clothes at Janet and Johnny's. And my mum's got my collection of bulbous fruit. You collect them as well? Oh, my God, this is amazing. I can't believe you like them as well. This is going to be great. Where do you keep them? I don't, because it's sad. <laughs> Listen, we're going to have to establish some ground rules, you know, if we're going to live together. I can't have you bringing handicapped fruit into the house. <laughs> well, I don't want to live here if you're going to give me rules to live by. I'm paying off the rent. I can do what I want. Don't you think that's a bit selfish? Yeah. <laughs> and don't you think that also gives me the licence to do whatever I like? I suppose so. And don't you think I'm capable of far more disgusting things than you are? <laughs> well, you do wipe your knob on the curtains after sex. <laughs> right. So don't you think life would be easier for the both of us if there's a little bit of give and take? OK, I won't bring the fruit as long as you stop with the crusty curtains up. <laughs> Donna. That's just the beginning. Well, what else? I'm perfect to live with in every other way. You smoke? That's part of who I am. It's in my blood. Yes, and in your hair and in your clothes. Honest to God, you stink, Donna. <laughs> I smell like a big rancid pond. <laughs> well, at least I know how I'm going to die. <laughs> I don't want you lighting up in the flat. Not even in the bathroom? Christ, no. If I'd had a curry the night before, the flat could end up in Wigan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll go outside in the fire escape to smoke. Good. The compromise is good. We're a good couple. I'll go out on the fire escape to smoke, as long as you go out there to fart. <laughs> you can't ask me to do that. I'll take all the fun out of it. <laughs> what about in the middle of winter? It could freeze on its way out. I'd have a big icicle stuck out the arse. Well, it'd melt eventually. And what would the neighbours downstairs say? Every time that bloke comes outside, he farts. They'd think I was a bloody weirdo. All right. Just getting us nowhere. No, I've got an idea. What? We'll each write a list. What kind of list? Well, like a, like a list of demands. You know, what housework we don't want to do, annoying habits we want rid of and such like. Well, won't that just highlight the flaws in our already flaky relationship? No, no. We'll sit down with these lists, right? And then we'll see which ones we agree on and all the others we just compromise on. And from that little acorn, a mighty oak of a relationship will grow. Gaz? Yeah? Have you been reading My Woman's Own? <laughs> Well, it's them cover stories. <laughs> Mother and daughter together at last. The breasts are trying to kill me. I thought it was porn. <laughs> I know you're awake. You're not breathing like a rhinoceros. <laughs> Johnny, can we talk about this? You went off shagging your ex-boyfriend while I was dying. What else is there? You know, unless you've got some more secrets. Have you buggered a baby seal with a diner rod recently? First off, I was not shagging my ex-boyfriend. Oh, no, sorry, you were being much more public than that, weren't you? You just shoved your tongue down his throat in front of my best mate, Classy Bird. No, it wasn't like that. He shoved his tongue down my throat for a start. Oh, well, then may all be forgiven. Let's go to the Mardi Gras. <laughs> and you weren't dying. You had a stomach flu. Oh, is that why you had to run off and find someone else to get off with? Are you that insatiable that you can't go without it for five minutes? Oh, Johnny, please. Oh, Janet, you must be in heat, dearest. What are you up to today? Bearing your arse to passing lorry drivers, you're hoping for a groping. 
Or are you going to nip down to Tesco's and hump the leg of a trolley dolly? <laughs> Johnny, let's talk about this, can we? No, drink your tea. Try not to orgasm all over it. <laughs> Johnny, please! Just listen, we need to talk this through. Can't. You've got to go to work as usual, and I've got to go to another pointless job interview where I'll be passed over for some girlfriend snogging asshole with a Saab. It's Alexis. <laughs> what? He's got Alexis. I'm sorry, Janet. I might be mistaken, but did you just kick me in the bollocks? Because <laughs> that's what it felt like. I'm sorry, Johnny. Honestly, I am. Sorry you cheated on me, or sorry I found out. Both. Well, I mean, I don't think you'd have found out otherwise, and it certainly wouldn't have happened again. Not unless I was really drunk, anyway. Oh, so you were drunk? That's why it happened? Yes. Yes. That's it. I was drunk. And I thought he was you. A muscly, rich version of you. So you'll never touch another drink again? No. Not even, say, a, a half pint of cold Stella on a hot summer's day. The gentle breeze blowing through your hair, and as you, as you lift the chilled, inviting glass to your lips, you'll say, no, no, for I am Janet. I will not drink this filth as it turns me into a big filthy tart. OK. OK, I wasn't drunk. Yeah, so you just fancied him and thought you'd throw away three years with me for some pathetic snog with an old boyfriend? No. But you're right, Johnny, it was pathetic and it didn't mean anything. I mean, it didn't even feel my bum. I'm going out. Oh, no, Johnny, please, just wait a minute. I've got to think about this. I don't know what to do. I'll see you later. No, don't try and kiss me. I'd rather kiss a salty old condom. <laughs> I'm working really hard trying to look busy. Oh, that Johnny business. <laughs> that was just too funny. <laughs> Don't call me a hemorrhoid. <laughs> well, I can't come over. I told you I'm busy. <laughs> Janet, stop shouting. You're in a library. <laughs> <coughs> What was that noise? I was just clearing my throat. Nothing to be concerned about, love. I'm not dying or anything. Not yet. What are you talking about? It's a well-known fact that most parents die when the children fly the roost. I could be on my way out come Tuesday week. You've still got two kids here. Well, they don't count. They've got their own lives to lead. I could always rely on you to give your mum a bit of company. Sat there, smoking your pipe, watching Emmerdale. <laughs> I've never smoked a pipe and I've never watched Emmerdale. You're thinking of Grandad. Happen <laughs> I am. You're very similar. <laughs> Mum, I'm not at all like Grandad. He's 70 years old, he hates women, and he's dead. <laughs> maybe, love, maybe, but loneliness does strange things to a woman. You're not lonely. You can talk to Gran. I don't want to hang around with my flaming mother. That's too sad for words, for Christ's sake. That's something you do. <laughs> you get the rest of your stuff, love? Yes, Donna. Go on, you go. Enjoy your youth while you can. Because when it's gone, it's gone. I'll just sit here and rot. Well, why don't you get a hobby or join a group? Those friendship groups are full of one-eyed freaks called Colin. <laughs> or a church. You could go to church. They've got loads of events. They've got Christmas and they've got Easter. And they've probably thought of loads more since I last went. <laughs> Donna, are any of yours or what? Don't know. What's in them? If there is, they'll be full of large pants and dildos. No. <laughs> I don't own any sex toys, Gary. Oh, I'll put that on my list as well. Well, then I wasn't allowed any. No, which ones I wanted you to bring? <laughs> How's this about a list? Oh, we're making a list of demands. Well, that won't work. Why not? Well, for a start, his'll all be blowjobs, yours'll all be hoovering. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mother, you're obsessed with suction. <laughs> oh, you so obsessed. You can't make demands on each other. You have to sort of... Drift through a relationship, compromising on the way. No, that's not true, you see. If we set down the rules from the start, that means we'll never argue. Yeah, cos we'll have nothing to argue about. Yeah, and if we disagree on something, we just check the list and we'll be clear. So, say it's Sunday morning. Right. And Gary has been out on a Saturday night. Of course. 
Well, not every Saturday night. Yes, of course. <laughs> well, I thought we could go to the pictures sometimes on Saturdays. What for? To see a film? <laughs> <laughs> no gas to stand outside and spit at the old nymphirm. <laughs> my Saturdays are my Saturdays. You can't take them away. Well, I can if I write it on the list. I wrote it first. <laughs> no, you didn't. Look at that. See, look. Gaz, that says mm puff nuff guff. It's shorthand. You don't know shorthand. I make it up, stupid. <laughs> and so it begins. <laughs> so, do you think Johnny's going to dump you? Would you? In an instant. I mean, look at the state of you. <laughs> I'm a mess, aren't I? God, Johnny's never going to want me back. Cheer up, Janet. There's plenty more freaks in the circus. <laughs> Louise, you're supposed to be helping me. Johnny wouldn't even know about Andy if it wasn't for you and your big fat gob. I do not have a big fat gob, thank you very much. I have very delicate bee stung lips. <laughs> Louise, you're not helping. You should be thanking me. I might have saved you from a life of squalor. We don't live in squalor. Janet. Most people's carpets aren't made of food. <laughs> Louise, can't you see what's going to happen here? Of course I can. You and Johnny will break up, and then you can hang around me all the time, fetching me things and buying me gifts and such like. My life will be complete, and it's perfect. <laughs> no, Louise. If Johnny breaks up with me, Gaz will take his side, then Donna will be stuck in the middle, but we'll have to take Gaz's side, because, well, I can't shagger in the same way. Then you'll have to take my side, and neither of us will see any of them anymore, because it'd be so awkward, and my whole world will fall apart, and I can't even be your friend, because you're the one who split us up in the first place. Oh, this is awful. In a bad way. <laughs> I know. That's why I've got to get Johnny back. Well, that and the fact that... I love him. This is so unfair. Why did I have to tell him? I don't know. Maybe it's because... Deep down, I don't really like you. <laughs> and that if you and Johnny break up, I won't have to see you again. Really? Don't worry, Janet. I'll get you back together. And then we can go back to pretending to like each other again. <laughs> <laughs>